Hello YouTube! Welcome to another video about my roof pattern canoe project. In the last videos I showed you how I made such a canoe from nothing else than roof patterns, boats varnish and adhesive. My aim was that everyone can do this project within two days and I tried to keep the material cost under 150 Swiss francs, dollars or euros. For that I had to simplify the design as much as possible. Because of the flat bottom and the 90 degree angle between bottom and side wall, this canoe is much easier to craft than a, a professional canoe with a much more complicated cross section. A lot of people wrote me a comment because they expected that I don't have enough dipping stability. And uh, I was on a test drive last week and to be honest, yes, Tipping speed stability is, is probably not as good as on a professional canoe. But as long as you don't have strong current or big waves, the tipping stability is good enough, at least for me. As the canoe was done, the only logic step was to make a paddle by myself with nothing else than roof patterns, boat varnish and adhesive. The typical paddle for such a Canadian canoe is a single blade paddle. In this video I want to show you how I made such a single blade pedal. For that I needed nothing else than leftovers from the canoe. So I didn't have to buy anything. If you have to buy all materials new because you don't have any leftovers from the canoe, the pedal will cost about 10 euros, Swiss francs or dollars. These 10 bucks are not calculated with the full price of a new tin of boat varnish or a new tube of adhesive. I just took the share cost from the amount of material you really use for making this pedal. I also wanted to use the same tools as on the boat. That means a hand plane, belt grinder, jigsaw, some screw clamps and my Victorinox Ranger Grip 79. My plan was to thin out the blade part of the pedal with the hand blade, but after two minutes work I realized that this is almost impossible because of the many branch knots in the wood. But don't be worried if you don't have a bandsaw. Just make sure that you have as less and as small branch knots as possible when you are choosing the wood. Like this you can achieve your goal also without bandsaw, just with a hand plane. Now let me tell you something about the dimensions of this pedal. The total length of this pedal is 145 centimeters. This is from the floor to my chin. But this is just a thumb rule. So the perfect length for your pedal you have to try out. The length of the blade part is 60 centimeters and the wide is 22 centimeters. The weight of the pedal is about 1050 grams and this is maybe 20% more than a normal pedal you can buy. But a self-made pedal is more worth for me than a super light pedal. So and I don't have to cross the ocean. <laughs> now I want to show you how I made this pedal.
So my friends, that's it for today. I hope this was interesting for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!